gets stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. How are you? I'm very fine, ma. Is the CEO around? Not yet, ma. Has he been here today? He was here very early as usual, but he left a short while later and he has not returned since then. That's quite unusual. Um, anyway, let me know whenever he's around. All right, ma. Well done. Thanks. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> This looks good. Thank you. Praise God. Let us pray. Father, thank you for the provision of this meal. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for those that have provided it. We thank you for those that have prepared it. And Lord, we also pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to bless all our brethren Amen. with food to eat. Amen. In Jesus' name, we ask that this will nourish our bodies. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, Bear? Yes. Did you hear from the Gomeses recently? The Gomeses? It's been a while. But I only see them from afar during church services. I see. I just saw Chiva Alaki's obituary in the newspaper. Okay. Maybe that's what has kept Brafemi occupied. Ah, even at that, he did not even deem it fit to inform us. Hmm. Ah, that's unlike him. I sent him a condolence message through SMS, but he has not replied. That's very unusual. Very, very unusual of him. I'm going to call him after my meal. That's okay. Hello, sir. Hello, brother Femi. How are you? Where are you that is so noisy? I'm in the market, sir. Market? Uh, yes, sir. I came to get some clothing materials. I see. Anyway, I I'm just calling to check on you. It's been a while since we spoke. I've been very busy of late, sir. And then um, the preparation for Chifalaki's barrier has really been taking my time these days. Uh, about that, let me once again express our sincere condolences to you and the company. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. 
I sent you a message immediately. I got the news. Uh, but I have not seen the reply, so I am assuming that you did not see it. Oh, about that, sir, I, I thank them my apology, sir. I have been very overwhelmed of late, sir. You should have responded all the same. I'm sorry, sir. Have you spoken with uh, Miss Ijeoma? How is she? Well, um, she's very fine and she's trying to stay strong, sir. The Lord will comfort her and the entire family in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me leave you to do what you are doing. Uh, but please ensure you see me after the service on Sunday. All right, sir. No problem, sir. All right. Bye. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, darling. Okay, no problem. I'll call you back as soon as I can. I have to go now. Yes. Okay, thank you. An opportunity to run a star. Oh, never gave you for such a soul. Such a soul that's come to steal and destroy. I let the fire and glass in all form before it's too late. My kind company that you keep. You keep. My leading to temptation. Let the Lord go direct your ways and you be victorious. I'm sorry. Welcome. Mm -mm. Is that how you're going to say? I know you're hungry, but I'm very sorry. 
Ava the strange day. Come on. I don't like it when you give me this silent treatment. You raised my hopes. You really did. And then you dashed it. If I, I'm sorry. I did not ask for you to take me out. Did I? But you offered to. You made me dress up. And then you stood me up. And you were even ignoring my calls. Is that fair? No, I didn't see any call. I was driving at top speed and I didn't want to be distracted. Mm. So, I'm sorry. I brought you a gift as an atonement for my sins. You think it's that simple? Come on, Femi. I'm your wife. I should be your first priority. Before Zen, before the Alake family. All that happened today wasn't about priorities. So what was it about? It's been one very strange day. Please just forgive me. Eh? Please. This should never repeat itself. It won't. Better. All right. Um, shall we? I'm already tired. I'm not interested anymore. You know, anger doesn't fit you like when you smile. Please don't tease me, Femi. What's this? Yeah, this is the material for cheese barrier. You got an Ashwabi? Yes, we did. But we are not members of their family. But technically we are. Because of Marcos. IJ's son. He's also my son. Chief wasn't just my employer. He's also the grandfather to my son. A child you conceived in legitimately. Femi, are we still going over this? I thought it belonged in the past. It does. You have forgiven me, haven't you? Yes, I have. Forgotten it. Do you want me to lie to you? Come on, baby. What happened back then stays in the past. It's just that I have a priority in that family now, and that is Marcos. I, sir, we have to be there for him. So, it was Marcos that sent you the Ashabi? No, no. It was IJ. Ah. Before. Honey, you don't have to do that. Eh? I love you and no one else. See, I just no longer in my life. So you have nothing to worry about. I believe you. Yeah. But you have to promise me one thing. Eh. What is that? That during and after the burial, I will always come first. Yeah, I, I promise. Good. Can, let me see the material. All right, dear. This is it. But you also owe your daughter an apology. All right. I definitely will. Mm. My baby. Mm. She's actually sleeping. Girls, it's time for Bible study. <sighs> Don't forget to come along with your Bibles. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Okay. Uh, Petra, lead us in a session of worship. Glory be to God. In the Forever, Amen. 
For his mercies endure it forever. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Praise the Lord. Girls, what we're about to do is something you will thank me for for the rest of your lives. From the time of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent taketh it by force. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may defy. If the devil thinks he can truncate the destiny of either of you, then he doesn't know what is coming. I am doing this because I love you. And I want you to understand that. Okay? So, um, whether you have any question bothering you or you need an advice, I'm all here for you. The one I cannot answer will go to your dad. And if he can't, then we'll go to God. Even then, God has already given us the grace to parent you right. It's just us girls. So, let's be open. What we are going to talk about today is on dignity. What did I call it? Dignity. Patricia. What did I call it? Dignity. Say it again. Dignity. Again. Dignity. Okay. Yes, dignity. What does it mean to have dignity? Let's open our Bibles to the book of uh, Job chapter 40 from verse 9. Job chapter 40 from verse 9. My baby. My baby. <laughs> well, please take care of him for me. Hmm? And then, uh, Ijoma, you, you see, you need to rest after a successful burial. Hmm? I know. Please. I will. Boy, Thank don't you. disturb your mom, eh? Give me five. Daddy loves you. Say you love me too? I love you. Ah! All right. Bye bye. All right. Yeah, take care of you. Yeah. All right. Let go. Let's go. Femi, what's the matter now? You were silent all throughout our journey back home. And even yesterday at the burial, you gave me the usual silent treatment. What have I done? What's the issue? Ife. Ifemi, I'm sorry now. Whatever it is, please now. Who is that? It's me, IJ. IJ? Yes, Femi. We said our goodbyes yesterday at the house now. I hope all is well. Can you at least let us in before the interrogation begins? The blizzard, a wind of change, a strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. The blizzard. 
blizzard, the blizzard. When there's love, there's life. Joy unspeakable is endless. Thank you. Such hope. Hello, precious. Hi, Jay. Good morning. I just deemed it fit to come say thank you for the support given to us during and after my father's funeral. Chief Alake was good to my husband, so you're welcome. Yes, it was. Congratulations on your new house, by the way. Thank you very much. Marcos, how are you? I hope there's no problem. Well, let me say the way it is. The reason I'm here is because there's a problem. Pijama. Pamela. The nerve of you to come here today of all days. IJ, please, we are not here to fight. Betty, I'm not fighting you either. I have better use of my time. Then let's move ahead with what we are here to do, shall we? Who is this? You mean you don't know me? All right. I'm Dulcine. I used to be Clara's friend. Oh, I see. Uh, we never thought Chief would be gone so soon. He, he was such a good man. Okay, <laughs> everyone knows that. Of what we thought to the church, the three of us were Chief's mistresses at different points. Let's mm -hmm. jump that. We had children for your father, IJ. <laughs> really? <laughs> you must be joking, right? No jokes, IJ. Children! Come here. We are the Robot Alake Baby Mama Trio. <laughs> Baby Mama Trio? Are you girls for real? Stranger than fiction, right? Welcome to reality, sis. As stakeholders in his life, we've come to show ourselves to the whole world. You will do no such thing. Okay. Watch us. Wait, 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 wait. How do you even prove these kids are ease? You may perform a DNA test in once. I'm not going to pay a dime. I don't believe you. You don't have to. The fact is this. That we have children for your father. Means that we have a stake in his inheritance. <laughs> the lawyer is away. And he has promised to take care of the situation. See you at the reading of the will, my dear stepdaughter. You must be very stupid. How dare you? You have called us in respect to give to your mother. What? You must be very stupid. Yeah, you are mad. You are an idiot. What are this? Excuse me, I don't have time for you. Children, let's go. please let's, let's go. go. Wow, this is serious. Femi, I have suffered. I have never been so humiliated in my entire life. You mean you were not aware of your daddy's extramarital affairs? Of course I was aware. But I never knew any of those affairs but children. <sighs> this is serious. Have, have you told you, Che? Of course I have. But what can he do? He's on his way back to the UK as we speak. So soon? Yes. He has a work engagement for the day after tomorrow. Wow, this is serious. So, what will you do now? That's why I'm here. Those girls think they can come and lay dubious claim to my father's hard end wealth. <laughs> they are mistaken. I will stop them by every means necessary. In fact, I have called the lawyer and we have a meeting for Monday morning. That's better. Young man, are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, let me get you something. Like I was saying, 
I will make sure these girls produce proofs that my father is the father of those kids. You know, anyone can come and claim that they are a dead man, baby mama. But I won't allow anyone to dent my father's legacy. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, hope that's not a dairy product. It is. Please don't give him. He's lactose intolerant. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, honey. I forgot to tell you. No problem. Um, please, can I get a cup of water? Of course. Thank you. So, will you stay at the family house? No, I'll sort myself out. Thank you. And Marcos? That's why I'm here. I'd like him to stay here till this whole issue gets sorted out. <coughs> what? I need your son to stay here till I'm done with those pests. The blizzard, a wind of change. Okay. A strategy of the devil to okay. destabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor. Power and might be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, Petra, what about your assignment? Okay, Mom. You asked me to study and memorize Jesus' instruction and prayer. Okay. I recite from Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Okay. And when thou prayest, do not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray, standing in the synagogue and in the corners of the streets, that they might be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Mm. Verse 6. But when thy prayers enter into their closest, when thou art shut the door, and pray unto the Father which is in secret, and the Father which said in secret, will reward thee openly. Mm. Verse 7. And when thou prayest, use not vain repetition as mm. they didn't do, mm. for they think they shall be heard, for they are much speaking. Mm. Verse 8, be not like unto them, for your father knoweth what ye have need of before ye ask him. Mm. It's quite self-explanatory, mom. Huh. Wow, very good. You are right. Prayer is the master key. But then there are principles one has to follow in order to be able to pray effectively. Patricia, your turn. Mom, you asked me to study on Jesus' teaching on fasting. Mm -hmm. I recite Matthew chapter 16, verse 6. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, sorry. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as hypocrites of sad continents that disfigures their faces. That they, that they may appear unto men to fast. They have, no, verily I say unto you, they have their, their, their money or what? I can't remember. Hmm, I see. So, what are the lessons you can pick from that um, passage? It's a lesson on the now. Fast and pray, and Jesus answer your prayer. Patricia, are you being serious right now? You had a very simple assignment. You have to go back and read it. You will represent it tomorrow, okay? All right, mom. Huh? Um, how did your day go? It was great school. Mm -hmm. I scored the second IS to my biology test. Wow, beautiful. Huh? Well done, Petra. What about you, Patricia? It was fine. We danced, we sang, 
We prayed and the Holy Ghost came down. You are not serious. Don't be rude, okay? I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh. Um, anyway, do you have any other questions? Yes, mom. I want to ask that. Can't you just do that tomorrow? Can't you see mommy's tired? Okay. Um, Pat is right. I am very tired right now. Uh, let's go to sleep and um, tomorrow, by God's grace, I will be able to answer your questions. <sighs> All right? Yes. So let's go and sleep. Honey. Is Marcos asleep already? Both your children are asleep. But you know what I meant. Ah, do I? What do you mean? Can't you see it? See what? She should have informed us that she was coming with the boy. Oh. But no, she completely disregarded the fact that he had a wife and he accommodated her without even much of a whimper. I'm perplexed, you feel me? Honey, what would you expect me to do? I mean, ask her to go with the boy? No, now. Try to understand. I would have me more understanding if you made an effort to ask of my opinion before making the decision. It's not right. See, I'm very sorry, if I me. I was just filled with sympathy for our plight. It's all right. Thank you, dear. But things are happening in this world, though. Ha, ah, I tell you. <laughs> so those women came to the house with their children. If I me, you know what they say? See no evil. Say no evil. Hmm. I see. But what if evil comes knocking at your door? I pursue it. Exactly. So why didn't you chase IJ away when she came this morning? Don't give him that. It's like this and telling us. Nye, 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 nye. If Femi, see, Ijoma is not as evil as you think. Whatever. Are we still discussing the house dedication plans or what? If Femi, don't you think it's too early for us to discuss that? Ah. If you say so, it's your choice. By the way, I saw Pastor Rice at the service of songs. Did you even see Prophet God's power at all? Hello? Hello, my son. How are you today? I'm very fine, sir. Well, I apologize for calling you this early. Your thoughts flashed through my mind, and I think I should give you a call. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I was even expecting to see you at the barrier of my boss, sir. Oh, your boss's barrier? When was that? This last weekend, sir, I sent you the hard copy of the invite, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. I remember now. I would have attended, but I had a tough deliverance section that lasted for three days. I have never experienced such demonic possession in my life. Now, I'm just resting. Oh, thank God for your ministry, sir. May God continue to strengthen you. Amen. Eh, uh, eh, uh, brother me, you know what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 5 from verse 4? I'm not sure I remember. When you make a vow to God, do not delay in paying it. Don't make me get to verse 6. You, you get? Oh, I get now, sir. I've been very occupied. you definitely get it this week, sir. Oh, <laughs> the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. Amen. <laughs> uh, you are blessed. Amen. You are lifted. Let's have your questions now. 
Mommy. Yes. What is wrong in having a boyfriend? <coughs> If I'm not having sex with you. Ah. The blizzard, a wind of change, a strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Ah. Never get stuck. Petra, why would you have such a fun. question? I'm curious, Mom. Besides, you are the one who said we could ask any question. Uh, yes, yes, I know I said that, but uh, why would you be thinking of having a boyfriend now? Mm. Mom, everybody in my class is doing it. Many of my male friends have left me just because I told them I don't want to be anybody's girlfriend. Mm. I was just obeying your instructions. Now, I want to understand why I shouldn't do it. <sighs> okay. Um, first, let me thank you for choosing to seek clarification rather than ch doing whatever pleases you. Uh, now, with respect to your question, human beings are social animals. Yes. Which means no man was created to live in isolation. Yeah. No, we are meant to interact, have relationships, and procreate. God created Eve to be Adam's uh, companion because he noticed his loneliness. Um, the scripture says it is not good for a man to be alone. Mm. Um, but for everything under the sun, there is a time and season. Each stage of life comes with its own peculiarities. Uh, for example, when you were a baby, your concerns were just feeding and sleeping. But now that you're a full-blown teenager, your body is blossoming and you are beginning to feel some certain ways towards the opposite sex. Um, this means you are becoming an adult. However, caution should be your watchword. This is a time to focus on what will help you develop a proper foundation for your spiritual life, your career, and your life as a full-grown adult in this challenging world. You have no business being in an amorous relationship with any boy right now. But what if I'm not having sex with him? Ah, then what is the point of the relationship? Love. Eh? Love? <laughs> what do you know about love, Patricia? Love is when you have an emotional attachment to someone else. Your heart and your soul wants to be with the person. Ah. You always have butterflies in your belly when the person is around and ah. goosebumps when the person is around. <coughs> Eros. What? What you've just described is called Eros. It was the topic of our discussion in the last Teenagers Fellowship meeting. Were you not at that meeting, Patricia? I was. Yeah. I see. You are obviously lying again. I thought you stopped. <laughs> Your meeting holds every Saturday afternoon. Where were you last Saturday? I... I... Speak up! Where were you? Where was your sister on Saturday afternoon? Hmm? Ali, please. I have not done anything. Why are you begging me? Sir, I don't want to answer that question. Ah, you will have to, unless you are complicit, of course. No. Then speak up! Hmm. Okay. Um, what happened was that we left the house together. And when we got to, uh, to the church gate, Pat went to a nearby bush and changed the outfit. Ah. She, she told me she was going to Wale's house for a business meeting. Eh? Is that true, Patricia? What business are you now into? 
What have you been up to, young lady? Hey! Patricia! Patricia, you take drugs? Hey, who? Hey! Pat! Where are you going? Patricia! Pat! Come back to this house again. If you ever come back here, I will kill you myself. My no. Don't talk like that now. Leave it. Can't you see what your daughter has turned into? Did you see the way she scaled this gate? That girl will soon go to prison. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, she has turned to my daughter now. Eh? Are you not the one that always complain whenever I try to discipline her? Please, don't even go there. Goodbyes. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to disturb your prayers. Come on. Um, please don't forget to get the pap cereal for Marcos. You know, we have to make an alternative breakfast for him since he's lactose intolerant. Oh, all right. Thank you. And don't forget about the FSB deal. You know, the deadline is this Friday. So, about that, I decided that we'll move over to our new place next week so we can have the dedication this weekend. Oh, that's great. And um, Prophet Gospar? So, we'll see him together later. All right, everything will work well in Jesus' name. Honey, everything had already worked out well. Hmm? All right, have a sweet day, my love. Yeah, and you too. But please, take care of my course. Hmm? Of course I will. What kind of request is that? <laughs> Please. Bye bye. All right, dear. Kuluya, ya kuluya, ya kuya mo, ya 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 kuluya, kuluya. Ya kulu ya, ya kulu ya ma, ya ya ya. In the name of Jesus, receive, 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 receive. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Receive, receive. Say amen, say amen, say amen, 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 amen. Are you praying? Amen, 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 amen. Receive, 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 receive. So as I was saying, 
trust in the Lord your God and also in his prophets. That is the only way to good success. Unless I am not called by God. That is when your miracle will elude you in the next nine months. I assure you, you will surely get it. Amen. Thank you so much, prophet. I was hesitant when my wife mentioned it. But now I can see why she was so adamant. Truly, you are God sent. People that know me know that I am not only God sent. I am heaven sent. All the angels of heaven and the 24 elders know me by name because I commune with them on daily basis. Mm. <laughs> yes, now, didn't I tell you? Yes, you did. You don't know the privilege you have that you, are, you, you can see me here in person. <laughs> Sometimes, I could go up in trance to have conversation with the host of heavens for days. I mean many days. Sometimes, for weeks. I never believed those stories were real. <laughs> My brother, sin is believing. Now, first confront your sister with the fact that she's a witch. If she tries to attack you, don't fight back. She will fall before you and confess all her sins to you. After that, you and your wife will begin to see positive changes. Then you will know that I am called by the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor. Ah. Stop insulting my anointing, Mr. Man. I am a prophet. I'm sorry, sir. I apologize, prophet. All right. Bye, Bye, sir. Where do you think you are going? Drop something for the lost work. You've got some guts, haven't you? When did you start coming to, 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 to see me on the mountain top? Since the prophet refused to leave the mountain. So I thought I might as well come to see him. You, you shouldn't have. I'm at work. Sorry. But I am not sorry. It's okay if you no longer need my love. But please, give me what you promised me. And I'll be on my way. No, you, you don't have to be this dramatic. I promise I will pay you the money this week. This week will soon be over. But it's not over. I will pay you. Ah. Don't disappoint me. That can only happen if God has not called me. I will pay you the money. Thank you. Can I continue with my prayers? You can. Gospel. I know you more than most people and I stuck with you through thick and thin over the years. I have done for you what even your wife cannot do. Don't disappoint me.
The blizzard, a wind of change, a strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard, blizzard, the blizzard, the blizzard. Blizzard, the blizzard Where there's love, there's life Joy unspeakable, it's endless In such home Oh yeah A little opening gives the devil Gives the devil An opportunity to roll the storm Hello sir oh. Hello Grace How are you? The MD is not picking our call, is she not around? She's around sir Let me check on her my kind company that you keep, you keep. my lead to temptation. temptation. Let the Lord God direct your ways, and you'll be victorious. At the end of the day, the blizzard, Hello, sir. A wind of change. I am here. A strategy me, of the devil but to I destabilize your peace. What? Hope all is well. The blizzard of fun. Honestly, I don't it takes know, away your job. All right. I'm on my way. The blizzard. Blizzard, the blizzard. The blizzard. Blizzard, the blizzard. Where there's love, there's life. Joy unspeakable, it's endless, in such home. Yes. Oh, yeah. Who is that? Come in. An opportunity to roll a star. Oh. Never gave room for such a hole. Such holes. Never come to steal and destroy. destroy. Identify red flags in our form before it's too late. Really? My kind company that you keep. You keep. My lead. Are you alright? What's the matter? Let the Lord God direct your ways. <laughs> <laughs> the blizzard. A A strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Never get stuck. In I am done for. Done for? What happened? <sighs> Let me please talk to me. <sighs> I don't know who I offended or what I've done wrong. I don't know. Please relax and talk to me. My first daughter ran away from home last night. Wow. How could Patricia do such a thing? <laughs> Look, a problem shared is have solved. How can you solve having a daughter who is a drug addict? What? <laughs> Look, MD, don't worry. Let me call my friend who is a police detective. Oh, let's not call the police yet. Let's hope she retraces her steps. Okay, I understand. But have you quizzed Petra on the whereabouts of her sister? I've not been able to get any information from her. If she knew something, she would have told us. This is serious. What's this world turning into? <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? Your wife is there to see you, sir. Really? Okay, I'm on my way. <sighs> see, Remy. Let me quickly attend to what I want to attend to. I'll come back. But okay. then, please. Hmm? Don't overwork yourself on this matter. All right, all right.
this one that you have come, you're going to distract me at work. <laughs> uh. Really? Hello, Femi. Did I interrupt anything? Um, IJ, uh, what a surprise. You didn't tell anyone you'll be coming to the office. Really? Am I supposed to tell anyone before coming to my dad's company? Uh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> Better. Well, um, I was coming from the lawyer's office, then I thought I should check up on you guys. Yeah. Hello, precious. It's a surprise seeing you. How are you doing? <laughs> Mad. <laughs> IJ, I'm surprised to see you as well. She actually came to, you know, um, give her husband a surprise visit. Yeah, yeah, surprise visit. <laughs> That's good. Um, anyway, how is my boy? Hope he's not giving you guys too much trouble. At all, no. All right, well, let me leave you two. Um, Femi, I'll be waiting for you right in Tunde's former's office. Okay. All right, take care of you. Okay. If Femi, me, I know that look. What is it? <laughs> I thought you wanted to follow her. Why would I do that? <laughs> I saw the way you looked at her. You didn't have that look when you saw me earlier. <laughs> if Femi, me, come on. Don't tell me you are jealous of IJ. It, it will be very surprising, you And if I am? You have no reasons to. What if she's up to something? I'm still not convinced of the reason she gave for dumping her son with us. If Femi, leave IJ alone to take care of herself. Besides, the, the only woman that interests me right now, it's you. And that's all that matters. Hmm. Femi. Mm. <laughs> Precious. When did this start becoming like this? Like how? Jealous and all. Since I was beaten by lack of sensitivity the first time, it would never happen again. It won't. Anyways, has she told you when she's going back to the UK? No. But why? Are you tired of taking care of Marcus already? No, it's just what's best for everyone. If Emmy. She will go when she wants to go. Hmm? So, what did you bring? Well, I brought lunch. I brought jollof rice, fried rice, and chicken. Just like the way I love it, right? Yeah, just the way you love it. Babe! Yeah! You know what? Um, now that you're here... Okay. I think um, we can take some time out to go visit Prophet Gospel. Yeah, I still have some time before I can pick up the kids, so it's perfectly fine. Babe, we just have this thing now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right famished. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you're welcome, my brother. Thank you, sir. Is this madam? Yes, this is my lovely wife, sir. You're welcome, my sister. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure meeting you, finally. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> How is everything? Fine, fine, well, sir. Fine, sir. I must apologize for missing your boss's funeral. Well, tight schedule. Uh, I just came back from my prayer mountain program last weekend. 
sir, we understand. And thank you for all you do for us. Uh, sir, my wife and I had to arrange to meet with you today, by all means. Oh, that's good. So, have you moved into your new house? In fact, that is why we are here. Um, the house the company was supposed to give to me could not materialize due to Chief's passing. But then, before he died, he already designated one of his houses to me, and we are moving in soon. Fantastic! <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> my brother. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank brother. You, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, <clears throat> my wife and I would love for you to preside over the dedication of our new house before we move in. Um, it's going to be a small event. <laughs> wow, I am honored. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so, sir, I'm here with my seed as promised. Wow. La Liga Suarez de Mbete. The Lord bless your seed. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No weapon. No weapon, I say. Fashion against you shall prosper. Amen. Amen. Again, anything that stands before you shall fall. Amen. Amen. Yeah. For obeying the instruction of the prophet, yes. my God will bless you with an avalanche of miracles. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. La Liga Suarez de Bete. My brother, Jesus. you are blessed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you are blessed. <laughs> ah! La Liga.
Are you going to let this one run over as well? Or will you act and save us all? Like, she marked me down. Yeah, we Somehow. Did we did bring our second and fourth season, so she was looking for a way to bring us down. But yeah, 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 it's true. She marked me down. I'm a mom. Oh, God. I'm just wondering the way that you see them. But, where do you think you're going? What mother that worried sick about you? I don't care. Of course. You should. If you don't come home tonight, mom and dad will call the police. Why? Am I a missing child? You are lost, Patricia. And you need to retrace your step back home. How did daddy know I had statues of weed in my room? Was it you? I didn't even know you had statues of weed. What were you thinking keeping such a thing in your room in the first place? Let me guess. They belong to Wally Wright. Because I know you cannot use our drugs. You're right. But mommy and dad doesn't want to hear that. They already labelled me a drug addict. Maybe you should have a talk with mommy. She can beg daddy on your behalf. I'll think about it. So, Pat, where have you been sleeping? How have you been eating? I've been surviving. Pat, why leave the palace? Why are you a princess? We live like a slave here. Now you're beginning to sound like mommy, and it's so annoying. Gosh. Pat, anyways, let me drop this with you. Come home soon, Pat. I miss you. <laughs> the same way I've been staying. Ha 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 Who is it? It is me, Niniola. Wait a minute. I'm coming. Welcome, Nini, my love. Why don't you just start calling me your love, man of God? <sighs> you are looking cheerful today. What's the good news? Well, as long as we are alive, it's enough reasons to be happy. I see. So how far with our agreement? <sighs> Come on now. You just arrived. Relax and make yourself Comfortable. I can't be comfortable unless I get that money. The money I gave you to complete your office complex was my life savings. I told you I was planning to go into real estate now. You told me that I would get the money within a year of investing. Now it's been two years. I have not received a dime. Is it fair? 
I know. But you still need to relax and focus less on money. You see, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 says that whosoever loves money will never have enough. And whosoever loves wealth will never be satisfied with his income. Man of God, the same Bible says in Romans that no debt should remain outstanding. Pay me what you owe me. Fine. I don't have it. God's power, you are a revered man of God. Don't make me change it for you. Are you threatening a holy and anointed vessel of the Most High? Relax, baby, relax. You see, let's have it, my baby. <laughs> I'm not here for that. Oh, relax, relax. Let me take my shower. See, I'm not in the mood. The Lord has revealed it to me. You are here. Yeah, you are here for that. I'm coming. <laughs> What is that? My God. Baby, uh -uh. Uh -uh. what are you doing with the money? <laughs> you know, uh, this money is meant for something else. So this is all I get for taking care of you in the absence of your wife? I loved you. And this is how you are repaying me after five solid years? Gospel, you have surely forgotten that I am not the one that has everything to lose when exposed. I won't say more than that. What will you do? Watch and see. By the way, you are nothing but stinking, lying, conniving, piece of God forbidden stench that should be spilled from the church. I will see to that. Shh. Get out. Get out. Leaving already? Yes, I am. It's been a really long day. So what did the lawyer say? Nothing concrete yet. He's been trying to make findings on the veracity of the claims. IJ, hmm? I hope you're good. Yes, I am. Why? Nothing. You look pale. I've just been down due to all that's going on. But I'll be fine. Yeah, that reminds me. Before we traveled, Marco started his swimming lessons. And I would like him to continue. Oh, wow. How old is he that he has started entering into deep waters? He's not swimming in deep end. Besides, kids that are younger than him have started swimming lessons. It's a survival skill everyone should have. Is that fine by you? Yeah. So when do you plan taking him? Tell me. I'd love you to take him. That boy needs to bond with his father. Okay, no problems. Hmm? See you later. Femi, your wife. I'd be lying if I said I've not noticed how she reacts whenever I'm around. Can you blame her? <laughs> of course not. But I need to assure you to assure her that I have no ulterior motives other than what I've stated earlier on. You know I always say what I feel. Femi. Yeah. I'm not here to break your marriage. Are we clear? Yes. Thanks for the clarification. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. Uh, 
Hello, Petra. Slow down, slow down. What is it? Ha! You're welcome, sir. Miss Ortega. Yes, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. What about the files I asked you to send to my mail? I'm working on it, sir. What about the one I asked you to send to the MD? Um... Miss Ortega. Yes, sir. Take your time. I'm very sorry, sir. See you See you uh -uh. MD, are you fine? She has been located. Your daughter? Yes. Where is she now? Um, I'm going there right now. Please, I need you to come along with me. See, I need to do... I just... Please, I sense that the Lord will use you to speak some sense into her. Me? Yes, please. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, please. Stabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your good and happiness. The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. Where is my daughter? The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. Patricia! Patricia! No, 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 please. Patricia! Please, just, just be calm with her. Please. <sighs> Whose house is this? It's mine. Oh. You mean it belongs to your father? He's no longer using it, so it's mine. Ah. <laughs> okay. So this is what you do with your father's property? Bringing girls that run away from home and hide them here. No, ma. She needed a place to stay and I decided to help her. <sighs> hey. Okay, I see. I'll be coming back to your case later. Patricia, I've come so that we can talk. Mom, you know how it always ends when we talk. Ha. <clears throat> so this is Patricia. How are you? I didn't know you were this tall. Pat, this is Mr. Femi Gomez, my boss. Good afternoon, sir. God bless you. I will not be doing the talking. He's going to be the one. And um, uh, uh, Yes, she's right. Can we get a place to talk? I mean, for a moment or so. Okay, we can just talk over there. Huh. All right, please. please uh, ha, Pat. No, the 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 Thank you. Hey. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your job. Right, let's get to it. Young lady, do you know you're in real trouble? Blizzard. I'm not a drug addict, yeah. liar. Please, Remy. Patricia, go ahead. I don't do drugs. I only care there for someone. Who? Wale. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that boy was good for nothing. <sighs> Patricia, let me ask you a question. Do you know that right now you could be at home feeding well? and have no worries in the world. Hmm. Oh, here you are. This place looks comfortable, but it's not cool. If implicated, you could go to jail for a long time. Why have you chosen to be here? Because mom and dad chased me away. How? How? Because they didn't see to my side of story before judging me. Ah. 
So what's the wrong side of the story? First, I'm not a drug addict. Secondly, I'm not as poor as mommy thinks. I only have one boyfriend and hey. that's Wally. I don't smoke. I don't drink too much. Huh. I only go for parties when my boyfriend wants me to be there. Oh, I see. So what you're trying to say in essence is that you're not a bad girl. I'm not, but one keeps treating me like I'm Jezebel. Hmm. Pat. I can call you Pat, right? Yes. I would like to confirm some things that I've heard about you before now. One, do you skip classes in school? Only when I have to hang out with my boyfriend and his friends. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Do you sleep in and out of the house at ungodly hours? Only when I have to be with my boyfriend. Hey. All right. <coughs> Lastly, do you skip church services and fellowships? Yeah. No, let me guess. Only when you have to be with your boyfriend, right? Yes, sir. I'm curious. What do you enjoy about this boyfriend? He's handsome. Mm -hmm. He's rich. Hey. He allows me to be myself. And more importantly, I'm always free around him. Hey. Interesting. <laughs> I think we broke a nice here, uh, Remy. <sighs> Patricia. Did you tell your parents about your relationship with this Wally fellow? No. Remy, were you aware? I knew she was friends with Wally, but I, I never see. knew. You children of nowadays want your freedom, right? Yes. Living a sheltered life is very old school. Mm. <laughs> mm. Thank you for responding to my questions with honesty and sincerity. Now, I'm going to be saying a few words and I want you to listen attentively. I believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ and I'm going to talk to you from that perspective. See, look here. Forget about all these other distractions. Jesus' way is the only way. Your life is meaningless if you don't live according to God's purpose. Remember this quote. When the purpose of a thing is not known, complete it. Abuse is inevitable. Good. Do you know your purpose on earth? It's not about feasting and partying. It's deeper than that. You cannot know this purpose unless you surrender your life to the Supreme Being, God Himself. He's the only one that can show you. Now, you're in your teenage years. Do you know what's going to happen when you're in your 20s, in your 30s, and so on. I guess not. It's best to surrender to the one who knows tomorrow. You and this is your boyfriend. Hmm. The scripture says, bad company corrupts good manners. I'm sure you were not always like this. No, she was not. It began when she started having a relationship with that Wally boy. Mommy, please. It all started when you and dad would drink, smoke, and beat each other up right in front of us. Eh? All of a sudden, you turn around and see you're born again. What about the memories and cars that we bear? Wally was the one who noticed that I was only by myself. He listened and made me a better person. I understand you better now. You are angry with your parents. And your present lifestyle is your form of protest, right? Um, uh, maybe. I don't know, sir. Pat, while it is true that your parents were wrong in the past, the scripture says, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Take a look at your life right now. Do you want your children to model their lives after yours? I would change when I grow up like mommy has done. Okay. What if you don't have a second chance like your mom did? You only live one spot. Before you know it, you are no longer a teenager and you will not be able to reverse time. This wallet of a guy might have given you listening ears, but it's obvious. It's leading you astray. To be frank, I sense a very intelligent and bright girl in you. You have no business in any romantic relationship or drugs at this time. Part. 
your life can be a lot better if you give God a chance. I was once like you, so I know from experience. I lay before you two choices. Repent and accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and live a new life of freedom or continue your present lifestyle with your boyfriend and end up in hell. What's going to be your decision? <gasps> I will kill you today! Jesus! You Jesus, are a Jesus! 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 Jesus!
In truth, it wasn't. We just did not share the same ideals about marriage. <sighs> well, he thought being African would make me stoop under him. While I thought it was something close to my ideal man, <sighs> we just couldn't stand each other's shortcomings in the end. Hmm. Do you probably think you could save it if either of you shift a little ground? Mom, I'm not ready to shift ground for anyone. I am sufficient in myself. Except for Femi, right? Mom, what has Femi got to do with this? He was your ideal man, wasn't he? He even liked you. I was praying and wishing that you both will settle down eventually. Mom, that ship has sailed like a long time ago. That boy will have made a fine husband for you. Mom, Femi and I are done. He's married and responsible. Besides, we are friendly co-parents and I'm cool with that. I see. Yes, ma. It is well. You need to make up your mind. What's going to be? I have made my choice. The blizzard, a wind of change. Pass. Pass. A strategy Pass. of the devil to destabilize your peace. Pass. Never get stuck. Pass. In the blizzard of Pass. Pass. It Pass. away Pass. your joy and happiness. Okay. The it's okay. Ah! Oh my God! 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 Oh my I'm for Jesus. Wow, praise the Lord. You have made the right choice. Mother, please forgive your daughter. Before we go, see, Pat, let me lead you to Christ properly. Huh? Yes. Yes. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say, so I come to you today. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. So, how did it go on the site? Ah, uh, bless God. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. Uh, we were able to cover four courses. Wow. <laughs> that is lovely. Praise God. The Lord will complete what He has started in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. Yeah? Yes. Something really mind boggling happened on site today. What happened? <laughs> uh, as we were walking on the site, we just had strange noise from the adjacent plot of land. Okay. I was even thinking of something else until we got there and saw the identity of those fighting. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, it was a man and this popular man of God, Prophet Gospar. The same Prophet Gospar? Yes. <laughs> The person attacking him claimed after they have gone to the man of God because they needed help concerning the fruit of the womb. He incited him against his sister. And the sister, out of annoyance, withdrew all her investment 
from his business. Oh. Apparently, the prophet had given false prophecy. Wow. <laughs> because the man said he later discovered that he was the one with the problem. Really? <laughs> that is serious. But when we Christians stop patronizing prayer contractors and learn to know God the more, with these people, you get what you are asking for because they won't let you go empty handed. I wonder. And you see, unfortunately, the prophet ran away like a coward. So I was unable to hear his own side of the story. Oh, Gao, my dear. <laughs> hey, tend the flock all you want. They will still do what they want to do. That's why we need to be grateful to God when we see some of our members who are following the Lord in the right way. Hmm. Uh, dear? Yes? You can't do great exploits in Christ. Hmm. If you are always subletting your spiritual duties and responsibilities to other people. Hmm. Oh, deep. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Wow. I congratulate you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations so much. to the Thank family. You. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, CEO. <laughs> My family and I are so grateful. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's nothing. But anyways, I have a question. Okay. Uh, please go ahead. Okay. Um, I've been wondering, why me? I mean, you could have called a pastor or a, or a counselor or something, you know, to minister to part. <laughs> It was easy. Um, Soya and his wife and my family friends, and they told me what the Lord did for them through you. Who? Soya? Who is Soya? Yeah, uh, the photographer. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Well, all things speak to God. <laughs> hallelujah, to God. hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah. Yeah, so, well, please, I need to get going now. <laughs> Thank it's already you so much. very late. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. God bless Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you grew taller than you. <laughs> so, Pat, be a good girl. Mm? She will. Yeah. Thank you. All right, my baby. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. All right, good night, too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so good much. Night. See you. Yeah. Oh, bye. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> A strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of If Emi, you won't believe what happened to me today. Where are you coming from? What's the problem? Just answer the question. Where are you coming from? Okay, I'm coming from the blizzard. Liar. <clears throat> Excuse me, precious. Why would you call me a liar? <laughs> You're lying. I know it. You know it. <clears throat> There's something off about you tonight. And I'm too tired for any argument. Oh. <clears throat> so I'm not an irritant to you, right? Honey, wh wh where is all this coming from? Be honest and admit that you're coming from IJ's place. Mr. Tunde's old office, remember? What in God's name are you talking about? Remy DMD had an issue with her daughter and, and I went with her to resolve it. That teenage girl ran away from home and it, and it took me a while before I could talk her back into returning. That's where I'm coming from. Oh, so counseling is now part of your job description at Zen Odin's. Precious, stop this now. It's not funny. Leaving me alone with two children is not funny as well. Why didn't you pick your call? Answer me. Look. I'm sorry. I saw a vision of that young girl in peril beforehand. And I knew that this was a case of, of a soul crying to be saved. I mean, it, it's not even about... Marcus, what is it? Oh, to me. My boy, let's go. Okay. Yeah, my boy. So you know what, baby? You have to go inside the room now. Hmm? To sleep. Hmm? That is some people say. Oh.
Honey, let's not fight, okay? See, I've told you the absolute truth. You can call Remy to confirm. I don't need to. I'm also sorry. But you didn't tell me she was separated from my husband. That made me more wary of her. Who? IJ, of course. If I please, I'm sorry. Eh? I'm sorry, I should have told you. I kept calling and calling, but you didn't pick my call. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. You see, um, the last thing we need now is to fight this close to our house dedication. The devil is a liar. Amen. Have you sent the order of program to Prophet Gospel? Yeah, I've done that already. I even sent an invitation to FSB. Oh, good. It's strange though. What I experienced today is different from what the prophet told me would happen. So, what are you insinuating? Never mind. Maybe it's just my mind playing pranks or something. Okay. So, let me serve you dinner now. Hey, baby. Like, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. A beautiful evening to you, everyone who has made our time to be a part of this event. Please celebrate yourselves. Thank you very much for coming. On behalf of the Gomez's family, I want to specially recognize the presence of all the staff of Zen Holdings. Please. Thank you very much for coming around. I recognize you all. I would also like to recognize the presence of FSB. FSB. Thank you very much also for coming around. I would do wrong by not recognizing a spiritual oversight in this place today. Ladies and gentlemen, please celebrate with me, Prophet God's power. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming yes, around. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving right into what we are here for. But before we go into the dedication, I would like to bring to your very before the custodian of this gigantic edifice ladies and gentlemen if your hands are not too busy please put them together as i make welcome the one and only chief operating officer of zen holdings a friend and a brother <laughs> beside a successful man there is a woman mm. <laughs> please let me celebrate her please join him please join him Mr. Femi Gomez. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Well, I love this song so much, and I want you to you know, sing along with me. It says, This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior. Hold up the Lord. This is our story. This is our song. Praising our Savior. Hold up the Lord. This event is more or less a Thanksgiving program. Mm. We are here to thank God for life, for love, for deliverance, for breakthroughs, and for achievements. Hallelujah. I've been able to do what took my father so long, enough at the time. And of course, a few months ago, I was in my lowest due to accumulation of debt. But here we are today, my family and I, in our new home. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Free from mortgage and rent. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is this scripture I love so much. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 25. Which says, Generous persons will prosper. And he that refreshes must themselves be refreshed. Mm -hmm. Have been refreshed by the goodwill of Chief Robert Alaki and the Zen's audience. That is why we are donating a healthy song to the FSB Foundation for the construction of their homes for the homeless project. Um, thank you very much. 
Please, can we have the representative of FSB to receive their check? Representative, please. Mm. Please, can we celebrate them? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so on to the event of today. Aside from the menu menu, I have the singular honor to introduce to us a man I respect so much, a man that speaks fire. I call him my Atra, my seer. The person of. <laughs> <laughs> Prophet God's power. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brother, Thank you, sir. God bless you, my sister. <laughs> Praise Messiah Jesus. Hallelujah. You see, I am so happy today. <laughs> Honey, how did Pastor Wright know? Did you invite him? Please, Femi, let's focus. Let's focus. <laughs> I saw it, and it is coming to pass now. Some have eyes, but they cannot see. They cannot see. Some can see, my brother, mm. but they have no eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. You shall receive if you can say it. Amen. Say it. I can. Amen. Receive it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see? This prophet can see. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. This ceremony reminds me of my first trip to Canada. Mm. I met a man in Toronto. I told him he would walk. The man was lame. And I told him, you will walk. Lo and behold. As I laid my hand on him, he walked. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. 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 Right now, I can see a woman in onion colored dress. She's coming to disturb the peace of this beautiful home. Ah. Ha. Ah. Ah. Prophet, Prophet. 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 Is my lover. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down, let me talk. No, he's not my husband. We have been having an affair off and on since he relocated his wife and kids to the UK. Ah. Ah, well, I am here today to tell you one thing. This man is a gifted man and also a fraudster. Mm -hmm. 
he's been pitting friend against friend, husband against wife, family against family for material gains. He will ask you to invest in his ministry and fails to give you back your returns. He's a selfish monster that should be expunged out of the church. Thank you. Uh, 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 please, please, everyone, please, just, just, just calm down. Calm down, please, calm down. Today is not the day for all this, please. Uh, please, just, just calm down. Oh, on to the next thing. of the devil to destabilize your peace never get stuck in the blizzard oh, of fun what it takes away your joy and happiness the blizzard blizzard the blizzard the blizzard blizzard, the blizzard. i'm still waiting for your answer what was the question? Pastor Wright. How did he know about our house dedication? I know that man. He doesn't just go where he isn't invited. Who invited him? Well, I did. Why? Were you not the one who asked us to invite the prophet instead? Hmm. I feel your pain, Sister Precious. Have you discussed it with him? No, ma. We are almost always arguing. 
anytime I bring up issues like this, it's like his mind is always somewhere else. Where do you think his mind could be? I can only think of one place, IJ. Since she brought her son to live with us, my husband has been so distracted. Hmm. Um, Sister Precious, I would like to see both of you. When will you be able to meet? Okay, sir. I will inform him. But before I forget, sir, I brought something for you. Okay. I brought an invitation for you and mommy. Okay. Ah, wow. How's the education? Yes, sir. Great. Ah, huh? <laughs> this is great. Yeah. Congratulations. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank wow. you, sir. Wow. Wow. Let me see it again. Ah. Uh -huh. She gifted it to him before he died. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Thank God. Thank God. How gracious of him. Hmm. Uh, uh, do brother Femi never mentioned it to me. I, I wonder why. So you mean you told Pastor White all that? I had to. Ha, did you at least tell him that you were the one who put me up to it? Hey, Mr. Man, I didn't put you up to anything. You're a full grown adult who makes decisions for this home. Wow, precious. Yes. You are beginning to scare me. Do you know the kind of embarrassment Pastor Wright's presence would have caused us today? <laughs> there was already a huge load of embarrassment on your head when you invited your fake prophet. You should be thanking me for inviting Pastor Wright. Oh my God, you are just unbelievable. So all of a sudden, Prophet God's power is now my prophet. Hey, is he not your prophet? <sighs> you are such a snake. After all you said and made me do, now you are not putting the blame on me. Femi, ever since I've known you, you have never called me a name that is not mine. Please, let it be the last time. And if it isn't, in fact, I'm not in the mood. It's been a long day. I know, that's what you always say when you are trying to avoid a difficult conversation. What? What do you want me to do? What do you expect me to do? <laughs> to keep arguing, I guess. So, what do you want from me? Sir, I would like to tender my sincere apologies for all that happened within the past few months. Please, forgive us. Please, sir, forgive us. I am not offended. I am just disappointed in the two of you. With all the discipleship, and the growth in Christ. How did you allow yourself to be deceived by God's power? Sir, it was the devil. His prophecies were so accurate, so I thought he was genuine. But you did not test his work by the word. That was your big mistake. Sister Precious, what is the problem? I just want him to make me top of his priorities because these days I feel like I'm down the pecking order. Hmm. Brother Femi, what do you have to say to that? My wife is always top on my priority list. I, I don't understand what she's saying. Hmm. Since you got the CEO appointment, you have become more indecisive and absent-minded. Then it became worse and personal for me since IJ returned into our lives. She has a son for me, remember? Oh, so is this because I have a daughter and she has a son? I never said that. That wasn't what I meant. You both need to calm down. 
This meeting is for dispute resolution and not for aggravation. Is that okay? Uh, Brother Femi, it is obvious that your wife feels aggrieved because she feels you are ignoring her. Now, instead of denying it, why not make her think so in the first place? Brother Femi, you need to keep her in mind every step of the way. You can't be diligently focused somewhere else. Why oblivious of the fact that your home is on fire? Tell me, how close are you to IJ now? IJ is just a co-parent with me. Nothing more. She cleared the hair recently. She's not even in the equation at all. Hmm. Now, Sister Precious. Sir? I have a few things to say to you. Remember when you and your husband came to me about Zen job? Yes, sir. Do you still feel convinced about the job? Sir, I feel that Zen gives and then takes more from us. Well, I could have told your husband not to take the offer back then. But that wasn't my call to make. That was why I asked you and your husband to go and pray about it. Because by now, you are not spiritual babies anymore. You ought to be able to handle your own business. My job as your pastor is to nurture and guide you so that you can grow spiritually. Maybe that was not enough for you. You had to enter God's power's trap. I would like to apologize once again. It's all my fault. I should have known better. I am only concerned about you. Hmm. Many destinies have been altered and many relationships damaged by so many fake prophets out there. It is sad that even supposedly matured Christians are taking the bait. Listen to me. Christianity is a personal journey that you can't sublet to someone else. Hmm. Anyway, thank God it was not more than this. We need to pray now and uh, rededicate you to God. Let us pray. The blizzard, a wind of change, Father, a I know that uh, the devil to we are a merciful God. Mm. Children have heard in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard. Blizzard. The blizzard. <laughs> the blizzard. Ifemi. Yes. I'm so sorry for hurting you these past few months. I assure you, they were honest mistakes. And I vow you'll be my topmost priority from now. I'm also sorry for the things I made you do outside of God's will. I apologize for pushing you away with my attitude. I promise to treat you better. I promise to communicate with you better. You know, um, we're supposed to stick together through the calm and stormy days. Yes, because our home is built on the solid rock. You're right. I love you. I love you more. All right. We are ready, sir. Great! Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> As we were standing here, yes, sir. we could feel the love oozing from the both of you. <laughs> yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, it is time to dedicate the house properly. Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's give thanks to Jesus for oh, oh, this you. great thing bless that he has done. Lord. Let's worship him. Hallowed be your name. Father, we thank you. We worship you. So that's it. Yeah. That is the biological father of those kids. There's nothing to fight over. I told the lawyer already that he should make sure everyone gets something. Wow. 
Yes. I'm bringing mom over to the UK very soon. <laughs> there is nothing left for her here. That's really nice. That's good. Hmm. Femi. Yeah. Zen is now family in your end. All eyes are now on you. No. Zen is in God's hands. And is going to take control. I know you will. Precious. Yes. Thanks so much for taking care of Marcus. You're welcome. But he's also my son. I understand there has been a lot of tension between us. But I need you to know that I am really very grateful. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Yeah. So, IJ, we'll see when we see. Yeah. Thank you, Fermi. Thank you for what? I have seen the light. Wow. You mean you, you are... Jesus spoke to me. I have been in the dark place ever since I got separated from my husband. But recently, I felt the urge to speak to the Father. Mm. I did that recently. And he showed me the light through Matthew 11 from verse 29 to 30. It says, Come unto me, mm. all ye that are weary yes. and are ever laden, and I will give the rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. <laughs> for I am gentle and humble, and you'll find rest for your soul. Mm. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Fermi, yeah. I needed rest for my soul, and I found it in Jesus Christ. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm so happy for you. Well, considering patching up with Gabriel. Yeah. We got talking yesterday after a very long time. But you know, it's still a work in progress. Well, that's great. I, I, I'm going to link you up with Pastor Wright for proper counseling. Yeah, I'd so appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, we have to leave now. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, let, let us at least pray together. Of course. Okay, let ready? me get the kids. Okay, done. Okay. You mean all this happened? You had an encounter. Yeah, I did. No. Hi, Jay. I can still fathom all this. I don't know what to say. I know God was most good in me. Amen. <sighs> Amen. This way, oh. kid. Marcus. Good morning. How are yeah, you? Yeah, they are. My baby girl. Angel. How are you, darling? So, yeah. shall we pray? Yeah, sure. So, my boy, my girl, close your eyes. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for all that you've done. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this fresh encounter. Thank, thank you for God. your daughter, IG. That by your mighty hand, you will strengthen her. Amen. You will strengthen us, O oh God. Amen. In the name of Jesus, as Amen. she has laid her hands on the plow, she will not go look Amen. back. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father and our God, for answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. Marcus. Yeah. Let's go. Say bye-bye to dad and mom. Thank you. Thanks so much, Femi. Yeah. Precious. I'm so grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, uh, Marcus, are you crying? Don't worry. You come back and visit us soon. Oh, yeah. Can yes. say bye bye to your brother. Yeah, say bye bye. Yeah, say bye bye to each other. Hug each okay. other. Sorry. Yeah. Hug yourselves. Oh, yeah. That's my, give me a smile. That's my boy. That's my boy. It's okay. What of his bag? It's in the boot. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you soon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, Femi. Yeah. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Yeah, bye.
Marcos, bye bye. I love you. Bye. like to tell you something. Okay. What's this? What? Ha! You want to resign from Zen Odin? Yes, after all that happened. Don't be. 